there, my name is Ranger Cheyenne, and this month we are celebrating Zion, a legacy of art, and I wanted to share a fun craft project with you. This craft shares my love of art and also my love of nature, and we are going to be making sun catchers with flowers and leaves. People from all over the world come to Zion to see our diverse scenery, like our rock formations and the life the Virgin River brings to us. Here in the park, we have elevations ranging from 3,000 feet to almost 9,000 feet, with over 1,000 different kinds of plants. We are a combination of the Great Basin, the Colorado Plateau, and the Mojave Desert, and all of these plants are extremely important to us and also our wildlife. Since we are working with plants today, it's important to remember that collecting from national parks is not allowed. We want to make sure that we protect these places for future generations, but there are many other places you can collect from, like your neighborhoods, your backyards, and even your local parks. To make these sun catchers, you're going to need a few items. So we're going to have some contact paper. We're going to have the lids from mason jars, some tape, some string, a pair of scissors, a marker or a sharpie, a stick, and some dried plants. Awesome. So we're going to start with our string, our mason jar lid, and our stick we're going to cut off some pieces of string and attach them to the lids and also the stick so we can hang these. we are going to take two pieces of contact paper, our marker and our mason jar lid again, and we are going to take one of these pieces and we are going to trace our lid. So I like to put it down um, with the wide side up. And I'm just going to trace it on the contact paper side, not the paper side. So I'm just going to go right in the middle here. Now we have our circle on our contact paper. We're going to flip it upside down. We're going to peel the backing off so that the sticky side is up. And we're going to tape it down to the table. We don't want to tape the paper because we need to take it off. Just like that. And now we get to decorate. Awesome, so now we have our plants and this is the most fun part. We get to decorate. So you can put them on the inside of the circle, or they can even go a little bit outside of the circle. It does not matter, but make it pretty, make it how you want it. And <laughs> So I just have some plants that are from the area here, not from the park itself, go right out to outside of town in Springdale. I love purple and I also Now we get to cut out our circle. I do recommend cutting on the inside of the line that you made just so it fits inside of the mason jar lid snugly. And sometimes you have to cut them multiple times so that they'll fit how you want them to. We're just gonna make a nice little cut around here. And I like to press the sides down just one more time to try to seal everything in there. Then we get to take our lid that we had our string on and we just pop it right into the middle and you have made a sun catcher. So now we have our lids and 
our sun catchers are made. Now we get to grab our stick and we can tie as many of these sun catchers to our stick as we would like. I made two of them earlier and I'm just going to add this third one right here in the middle. Zion in the mornings, so I might leave this on our back patio to add a little bit of art along with the beautiful scenery here. Thank you so much for joining me and get